I'm Vanessa. And this is a picture of me holding a 1980s family photo. So this live teddy bear is actually my dog, my one and only love, Luna. Luna's a labradoodle and sometimes I think I love her more than I love most people. But what I want to know is if Luna loves me back. So, Luna? Australia has one of the highest pet ownership rates in the world and about 40% of Aussie homes have a dog. But seriously, can dogs actually love us like we love them? And why have we developed such a close bond with our pets anyway? Can this love be scientifically quantified? Today, we find out. I'm a little bit nervous. Luna's ready to find out. Look how ready she is. What do you say, Luna? Not happy. This human canine love story begins about 30,000 years ago, when dogs began to split away from grey wolves on the evolutionary tree. At that point in history, we were both pretty good at life. Wolves were successful pack hunters and humans, in many ways, even better. So how did we come to work together? Well, bold, friendly wolves came to the edge of human settlements to scavenge, and slowly they became a part of our lives. And slowly, these friendly wolves started to be domesticated, which is where the evolutionary pressures on these proto-dogs changed. They went from being selected for things like aggression in the wild to being selected based on friendliness and eventually their ability to read human gestures. Okay, but how can we find scientific proof that dogs love us? to finding true love scientifically is looking for physiological and chemical changes. Our biological understanding of love in humans is based on parts of our brain lighting up when we report feeling love and certain chemicals being released too. In general, our human emotions come from chemicals in the brain called neurotransmitters. One of these chemicals, oxytocin, is released through positive social interactions, like when you hug a person you love. when you hug a dog that you love. Oxytocin plays a super important role in forming bonds between couples and bonds between parents and children too. So a few small studies have looked at whether dogs release the same hormone when they're hanging out with their owners, and it appears that they do. But these studies on oxytocin aren't quite enough to suggest that dogs do love us. So what can we learn from their brains? Well, another study at Emory University trained dogs to sit still inside an fMRI machine to look at their doggy brains when they smelled different humans and dogs. The researchers were looking at a region of the brain called the chordate nucleus because of its association with positive expectations. The pups' brains had a stronger response at that site when they smelled their owner's scent, compared to when they sniffed other people or other dogs. But it's tricky to say whether they love us as a companion or if they just love us as a person who will feed them. Beyond hormones and brain structures, researchers have also looked at dogs' behaviour. OK, think about what an animal like a cat or a horse might do when it's startled or scared. Most often, it'll just run away. Now think of a child. They would respond to being scared by just running to their parents. And researchers have found that when a dog is scared or startled, it'll run to its owner. Dogs will also seek out eye contact, which other non-primates don't do. Hey, Luna. Luna! In 2016, dog cognition researcher Natalia Albuquerque found dogs also had perhaps a unique ability to recognise human emotions. In the study, dogs looked at human faces, one happy and one sad. And when scientists played a happy or angry voice in an unfamiliar language, the dogs turned to look more at that face that matched the tone of the voice. 
And this is very significant because it suggests that dogs have internal cognitive representations of our emotional expression. I find this very exciting, especially because this interspecies emotional recognition has ever only been shown in humans. From what we can tell, both chemically and physiologically, is that a dog does appear to love its owner. But what we don't know is whether dogs experience love in the same way that we do. Love is a human emotion, and a pretty complicated one at that. So who knows if a dog could even comprehend the idea in a similar way. In the meantime, I'm happy enough using the doggy brain scans and the behavioural studies as an indication that Luna really does love me back. And now I'm just waiting for someone to prove otherwise. So unimpressed. <laughs> it's just this dry food. <laughs> <laughs>